Hello, hello, hello. I'm Kurt Dodu with Realm IQ. We are promoting our Realm IQ sessions with some excerpts from LinkedIn. In this session, I'm talking with Eureka Kerber, coming to us all the way from Berlin. And she is an awesome artist, graphic designer extraordinaire, and she has mastered generative AI with her art. And she is one of our latest Realm IQ mentors to join. Let's listen in. The question was, how can a company, for example, utilize these tools, right? Yeah. And it's it's icky at the moment yet, still. It's like you go to a point, it's working well. And you cannot expect to finish a glossy, beautiful, finalized design. But what I find is really important right now, you can use this AI tools too for ideation and creating quick prototypes in a large amount, in a time that in a time frame that you wouldn't be able to do in other tools. So that's how I use it. So yeah. my question to you is now, okay. have you seen a great example of that? Have you seen a company utilizing AI tools really nicely? Oh yeah. And you know, I, I talk with people in various industries, not just graphic designers like like we are, but you know, blog writers, marketers, real estate agents. I mean, it's just crazy how uh, chat GPT, which is, you know, text, text to text is an amazing tool to kind of drill down on defining marketing personas, like who's going to buy my product. Here's my, here's my product description. Who's interested in that yeah. and then continue the dialogue of, okay, how do I uh, write some messaging that connects them emotionally with my product? And it yes. will give positioning, mm -hmm. right? And then you can go further and say, okay, now write <laughs> 10 social media posts on that positioning and include emojis and, and relevant uh, SEO words and, and, and the relevant hashtags. And it'll just freaking do it. Yeah, yeah, it will do it. But what happens with everybody uses Chat GTP? Do you feel like it uh, looks and sounds all a little bit the same? It starts to, uh, you can already detect a little bit the Chat GTP style? A little bit, yeah. So what's important is, like, if you have a unique product, it will write about that product. So however you input your data into the system, into the LLM, that's what is unique is your input into that. Now, the creativity that it, it puts forth, you should still judge it and compare to maybe your competitors and say, actually, that's my competitor's tagline. So I can't use that. Right. But again, it's that human input and orchestration of, of this experience that will make it not cookie cutter. So there are indicators because I, I use it for my, my blogs to give me ideas and, you know, write or organize my thoughts. So, but what I find is the way they organize their, their content starts to be predictable, meaning mm -hmm. the paragraph structure, they say firstly, secondly, and lastly, and in conclusion, yeah. right? <laughs> So, you know, I end up having to rewrite a lot of that. And then, you know, I'll write the pithy headline, you know, the yeah. uh, attention grabber. Bait. Yeah, it's so, uh, it's interesting, right? It's very predictable. It feels like it's always a yeah, very but, predictable but it, thing. I mean, it, it, it is creating content and helping you. But again, mm -hmm. the human side still needs to go through it. And, and I always ask, okay, please provide some quotes from industry experts and source those quotes. So I see the quotes that come out and, and then I say, okay, I, is this a real person? So then I'll go on LinkedIn and say, yeah. oh, yeah, I found yeah. that person, or I found the article. If there wasn't an article, then it's like, well, I can't use it. Yeah. Have you had uh, some good and funny uh, hallucinations? <laughs> Yeah, and, and what I discovered in talking with a lot of uh, people who use it is, is that these hallucinations are not a, a conversation where they start to understand you and analyze you and ask you very personal questions. It's like, no, the hallucination is wrong information that they find yeah. because yeah. it's kind of, you, they're dreaming up quotes and it's like okay no one said that I, i've asked yeah. i've asked the system oh do some competitive analysis and 
business modeling and revenue reports on certain companies within a certain business sector. And it, oh yeah, you know, it's a billion dollar industry and this company's doing all this great stuff. And then I go, okay, I got, I want to check that because I just, yeah. I do. And then I find out, yeah, yeah there's no company named that. Yeah. Master, yeah. But no, I, I, uh, so then I had to, you know, go through some traditional research to really find about yeah. some industry. Yeah category so it can be even dangerous the hallucination can, well, can be dangerous be, I it heard. can be dangerous yeah. if yeah. you just assume everything you're reading is true and uh -huh. you know we can't even do that in real life assume everything is true that you hear so I, I think critical thinking and due diligence and your own mm -hmm. personal research traditional and with AI I think they're all tools to use but again that human buffer mm. that human yeah. filter yeah. is what i hope why well, advocate for that but i also hope that that will yeah. not only help train these llms because again what we put in and what we challenge we yeah. can actually have a dialogue and say well that's not true i couldn't find that link and then mm -hmm. they're learning from that conversation so that absolutely fine. yeah keep looking for more realm iq sessions on our website and in your linkedin feed Oh, <laughs>